The coating that's on the trunk of the Dragon, the nice white coating that you see um, as it comes into dock with the space station, that coating was qualified on the Missy 1 and 2 flights. And MISI stands for Materials on International Space Station Experiment. And it was a group uh, project experiment with the Air Force Research Lab, the Naval Research Lab, Langley Research Center, Glenn Research Center, and here at Marshall. Some big companies like Lockheed and Boeing, and then little companies like Alien Science, which developed this coating. And they based it on a coating that we had already used for 30 years for spacecraft, but as we get more and more powerful solar rays, we have to worry more about spacecraft charging. And in order to, to solve that problem, then we look for electrically conductive coatings. And Alien developed this one, and then we flew it for four years on Missy 1 and 2, and were able to qualify it for space. While we can simulate different aspects of the space environment here on Earth, we really can't get the synergistic effects of the UV radiation, the thermal cycling, everything all together. So the real environment is the best one to test in. And so we had these samples in space for four years and we were able to bring them back and analyze them and look at what worked and what didn't work. So we had some that stayed just as white after four years as they were in the very beginning. And then we had some that turned a nice chocolate brown <laughs> due to the UV radiation. A coating not only protects the underlying metal from corrosion while it's on Earth and sitting in the salt air at the Cape waiting for launch. It also uh, passively controls what temperature the inside of the cabin would be. So we want to make it comfortable for the astronauts. We don't want it too hot or too cold. And we want to know that that coating will stay the same throughout the whole space flight and not change over time. We do have one co coating that was used for the Curiosity rover. We also looked at some different coatings for lunar missions for Lagrangian point missions, and then we also flew the sunshade material for the James Webb Telescope.